on YouTube. So now let's create our first Hello World Linux kernel module. But before we start, I will explain to you what a Linux kernel module is. So a Linux kernel module is just a piece of software which runs in the kernel space. And because it runs in the kernel space, um, this brings some advantages and disadvantages. For example, in the kernel space you can access the hardware directly, and, but you have some limitations. You can't use float variables out of the box and the stack is a little bit smaller when it is in user space, but it's the right place to write your device drivers. And another thing about Linux kernel modules is you can load them dynamically into the kernel and out of the kernel. I will show you how to do this after we have created our first Hello World kernel module. Okay, so now as you can see here, I'm connected over SSH to my Raspberry Pi. And here I have created a folder for all the kernels modules I will create. And as you can see here, I will I, I'm using Git as a revision control, and of course I will upload all the code I'm writing here up to uh, to GitHub, so you can take it, look at it, and modify it. So so much for preparation. Let's start. Okay, so I will create a C file called my module. I will do the kernel programming in C. You could use other programming languages, but as you maybe know from previous videos, I am used to C and so I will use C for it. So um, the first thing we need to do is add some includes. And here is something special about Linux kernel modules too. You can't use all the includes you know from user space programming inside your kernel modules. You can only use some includes, mostly the includes which begin with Linux slash. And here I will add Linux slash module. I can't type today. <laughs> And I will use the module Linux in it.h. Okay, and now we can pass some meta information. So the only required meta information is the license you want to use. And this is important because there are some distributions out there who are only loading um, modules which are licensed under the GPL, so only modules which are licensed as free software. And of course, we will use the GPL here too. Okay, then we can um, assign the offer. Oh, I really can't type today. I hope this will get better over the video. And that's me. And we can add a little description. And the description is a simple Hello World Linux kernel module. Okay, and now we have to declare two functions. One function which is executed whenever the module is loading into the kernel, and another function which is executed if the module is removed from the kernel. We've This function is called when the module is loaded into the kernel. 
and um, this function must be an int, must return an integer value. And with this macro, we just tell um, the code, this will be our init function. And I will call the function module init. And it has no arguments, so it's a void function. And here, I will use the function print k. So printf is not a variable in the kernel because there is no command line it can print something out to. The only thing you can print something to is the Linux kernel logs. And printk does exactly that. So I will print hello kernel. And then I will return zero. Okay, returning zero here is important because normally you do all the initialization inside your module init function. And if something went wrong, you want to um, tell it to the outer world something went wrong. And you can do this by returning a negative value. And if you return zero, um, the outer world knows, okay, I've loaded the module successfully. So we have to return zero here. And then we will need a second function. We've, um, this function is called when the module is removed from the kernel. And this is a void void function. With the macro exit, I tell, um, I tell the program this function is for is used for exiting. And all we're doing here is print k goodbye kernel. And here we don't have to return anything. Okay, so we are already done. We just have to do two more things. With the module init function, we set the function which should be um, called when the module is loaded into the kernel, and this is of course module init. And we have to do the same thing for the exit function. Yeah, and that's it. That's our first Hello World Linux kernel module. So, but in order to build it, we need a make file here. And this is pretty simple. We have a variable here called object minus m for a module, I think. And we will append q.o, which is the file we want to build. Then we will call a make file stored in lib modules okay here with this command we um, we this will output us the current kernel we're running because for every kernel installed you have a separate um, lib modules built folder So what this command here does is it calls the make file stored in lib modules name of your kernel build um, folder and it will execute the make file into your into our current folder and okay here I have a typo modules and it will build our module and it's important we have assigned the variable up here so it knows what module to build. And I will um, add something to clean everything we have built. And for this purpose, I can just copy this line here. And everything I have to change is the last word. So this will be clean. And this should clean our kernel module. So let's hope I haven't made a mistake. And let's run make. 
Okay, now we're seeing we're entering the directory user source Linux headers. Okay, and we're done. It has successfully built our first Linux kernel module. And when we look here, we see a lot of files. This is our make file, our source file, and all the other files are created with make. And the important file here is mymodule.ko. This is our kernel module. And now we will load this file into the kernel. Um, and we can do this by running the command insert module insmod. And we have to type the name of the module. Okay. And now if we execute a lsmod list modules, okay, we have a huge list here. And here we should find our, oh, sorry. Uh, what I've done. Okay, let's search just grip my module. And here we are. So now our module runs inside the kernel. Or is, our module is in the kernel. And when I look to the kernel log by using the command d message, and I will just print out the last 10 lines of the kernel log, I can see here our message hello kernel. Okay, to remove our module, we can call um, remove module or rmmod, and we have to type the name of the module. And if we look at the kernel log again, we can see the message goodbye kernel was printed. So we have successfully written our first hello world Linux kernel module. Great, isn't it? In the next video, we will talk about device numbers and device files. I hope I will see you there. Goodbye.